I had ended an abusive relationship that lasted 10 years. I was thankful. I was ready to live. But then my sister was diagnosed with cervical cancer. So I went to get screened as well. I tested positive for HIV instead. My only thought was, I am going to die. My doctor was sad, but this was 21 years ago. And back then, I wasn't offered any referrals or anything. He just asked if I was going to be okay. Later that day, I was late to pick up Sonia, my daughter, from school. So we got ice cream. And it took all I had to act like I was okay. I had to leave Sonia with my sister while I tried to figure things out. I left Sonia with my sister because I felt she was better off with her and her children. Then, I remembered my father before he died. I remembered how much he told us that we weren't raised to give up. And he was right. I had to fight for my family. I couldn't believe it. Within a week, I was on antiretrovirals. <laughs> Meds were harder then. It was 1997, and most combinations required you to take multiple pills more than once a day. I had to take 14 pills a day, to be exact. But I had to find a way to take my pills and go to work to be there for my girl. Well, we're all human. And I started drinking to deal with my feelings. Because of my drinking, my daily routine got affected. I started messing up my treatment by forgetting to take my pills. My virus became resistant to a group of my meds. But the important thing I realized during that tough time was that I still had options. I quit drinking and committed my treatment to my daughter. It took discipline. However, only two years later, I was getting married to a wonderful new man. And I gave birth to a beautiful baby girl who was born negative. See, I thought the phrase, you tested positive for HIV, was the end. But there's another phrase that people need to know about. I'm undetectable. I didn't really understand what my doctor meant when he said that. He explained it meant that I was doing the right thing for my health and well-being. Keeping up with my meds with discipline, getting labs done regularly, and keeping my appointments could help me stay undetectable. And if I'm undetectable, I am untransmittable. I can live a full life. Some people give up when they hear they're positive. But in spite of the hardship, help was there for me. Two words gave me everything back. A simple message that takes work, but gave me my life and family back. And now, 21 years later, I just take one pill a day and get labs done twice a year. We only have one life to live. Live it and be great. Love, D. People living with HIV who take their medication as prescribed and have an undetectable viral load stay healthy and have effectively no risk of transmitting HIV to their sexual partners.